Right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Lewis, that dude who disappeared for seven months, but I'm back now for content. I'm not sure how long, what content I'm going to be doing. I have no idea, but at least this is better than a channel update, right? And yeah, I've taken a break. I got so burnt out of YouTube, but I'm back now. Today, we're going to be looking at plants versus zombies everybody's favorite game right it's it's epic this game is 11 years old but yet it's still relevant fortnite fortnite that ain't relevant anymore that's like three years old this game's 11 so we've got our tiers right we've got the bottom tier which is oh, this is all for your parents to see this which there are a couple of pants that will be there Right, parents should see this. It's sad. And we've got um, just bad, bad plan. If you've never played Plants of Zombies, this is not a video for you. I guess this could be an okay plan. I guess. Then this will be like good. Like it's good. There's better options, and this is great. And then. Then top tier can be top plant. But only one plant will be in this tier. Anyway, so I've disappeared seven months just to quickly tell you. You probably clicked off the video already, but yeah, I got really burnt out of YouTube, but I'm back now. I'm not kind of giving up, but let's get on with this, right? So, Blover is the first plant. Blover is unlocked in World 4. It is a plant that it has two functions in the game. Get rid of the balloon zombies, clear the fog, and I prefer it to the plantain personally because I say that the plantain it's 150 sun because it's annoying I have to keep replacing this, but I, I guess I'll put it in the in the in the okay tier I guess it's okay but there's better option cabbage I prefer kernel pulp because the cabbage in my opinion it's like a pea shooter for the top except it doesn't shoot as quick as the pea shooter so yeah let's just get the cabbage the cabbage is good it's middle of the road you know it's it's fine um cactus everyone this plant gets too much hate come on like the cactus is cactus is decent you know it it Cactow is way better than it, but it's fine. It's good. I don't want to say it's better than the cabbage. I I just like the design of it, to be honest. <laughs> like it's just cool that like it's not a shooter, pea shooter. It's not a log plant. It's just a cactus. You know, I enjoyed this one. Cactow, everyone's favorite plant in the game. Cactow is um clearly a top tier plant. It can it basically obliterates most plants it it honestly obliterates most plants to be honest so i'm just gonna close with that anyway as i was saying <laughs> before i got in cactail is epic it's an epic plant you need it it obliterates it makes the cactus pointless if you can get it it's basically a must-have on survival endless and you just need it Cherry bomb, in my opinion, is the weakest of the single-use explosion. The chili, the chili squash, potato mine are better. So I'm gonna put it in okay, I guess. It's it just it's really expensive for what it does. Jumper, jumper boy. I I enjoy the jumper. He's a cool plant on paper, but when it comes to execution, he's he's, he's bad. He's not, this is all for your parents to see this, but he's, he's just bad, he just, it, ta it takes so long to recharge, why use him when you can use a squash or a chili even, but less the price, or even a cherry bomb, in a, like, he, he's just awful, he's just, he's just really bad, don't use him, don't use the cactus, don't use chomper, use cactus, cob cannon, you either love this guy or you hate this guy. Um, he's epic. He is really expensive, but he's basically a must-have for, for survival endless, so. 
You, you need him. You need him. Um, Coffee Bean. I hate this dude. He is. He looks really ugly. I hate his design, but he's okay. He's. he's he can help the Gloom Shroom strategies and can bring the Doom Shroom into daytime. He, he's good, but he's not great, is he? Because Doom Shroom. Epic! <laughs> Epic! Love the Doom Shroom, you know, better than Cobb Cannon, not better than Captain, just, it, for the, what it offers, for the price, it's insane, it's less than the Cherry Bomb, like, nukes in the night zone, and, of course, it will be 200 with the thing, but you can, it's so helpful in Survival Endless, so, you, you just gotta get it, but I forgot to mention, I've got a microphone now, can, here at the Lewis's prop department, we are upgrading, on um, Plant Pot, Plant Pot, I can't rank him. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother ranking this dude because he's just. I'm just gonna put him. I'm just gonna put like. Where do I put him? You know, you can just go. I just put him like top plant because you you can't beat the game without this dude. Because you need in world five, you need to plant on plant plant. So it's like technically he is the best plant in the game because you can't beat the game without him. <laughs> that, that's the new challenge, you know. Someone beat the game without using sunflowers, someone beat the game with only two seeds. Well, that's the challenge I want to see. No plant pots or lily pads, it's pretty much impossible, isn't it? Foom shroom. Gloom, foom shroom. It's a bit overrated, and I don't want to say overrated, but it is overrated. So, I'm going to put it in good. There's a lot of plants in good here, but it's not great, is it? It just, it just doesn't have the damage. I prefer just saving up like a pea shooter or something. You can beat every night level with plush rooms, and the only reason you look, this guy's good in like daytime levels is because you need him for the green shroom. Garlic is the perfect like good tick. I'm gonna put him in great. He's the perfect like great tier plant because he's a big plant. He's strong, but, but it really depends on what situation you put him in. He can be really good, or he can be really bad. So. He's really situational, it really depends what you do with the dude, so. Um, Gatlin P. Gatlin P, I'm gonna put in great, because he, he has a really long recharge, and it's quick as just plant two repeaters, but it does save seed slots, and he can be very, very good, especially to use with fire. There's better upgrade plants, that's the reason I put him there. Um, Gloom Shroom, a fan favourite, people love this dude, and. I, I get it, he, he, I've done, like, I beat the game six times, on my first, like, four runs, I, I didn't use this guy, but on my sixth run, which was beating the game the second time round, I decided it'd be a good idea to use this guy, so, I'm gonna put him in great, but in love with that guy, gold magnet, this is awful, your parents should see this guy, he is so bad, the only thing he does is he collect coins, and he can't even take helmets. If he could take helmets and coins, it'd be, be great here. But come on, just send him to your parents, call the police on him, he, he's, he's awful. Grave Buster's okay. Like, graves are not really that much of a problem. Like, he's honestly better in the Wacker Zombie mini game than he is in the actual game, so he's okay. Hypno Shroom, in my opinion, is a bit overrated as well. Like, it, it's probably the worst single use plant because a squash is a better option. One is cheaper, and the only real reason you use this guy is in World 2 when you gotta beat the, like the. What's his face? Um, football zombie. <laughs> what's his face? So I'm gonna put him in bad because he's just he's just pretty weak, isn't he? He's better than Chomper. Ice guy, you need this guy to beat Zomboss, so that's at least good tier. And I'm gonna put him in bot great tier. He is. A very strong plant, a good option. Right, chili is epic. Not only can it take out zombonies, not only do you need it for zombo, it's also a great option. Lines of zombies are way more valuable. This this guy is safe by bark many times, and it's best against gargantuas when you squash the gargantua and then you press the chili. It's an epic plant, it really is. Better than cob cannon, in my opinion. Not better than Dean Shroom, though. Colonel Pult is great, fight me. <laughs> I'm going for one, two. That. I'm, I'm in for it. Colonel Pult is 
just fantastic. The butter is so good. It's for only a hundred. It's brilliant on free flat and even day level. It basically just replaces the pea shooter for me because yes, it does less damage than the pea shooter and the camera, but you it can kill a football zombie with luck. If you have three of them, it can kill a football zombie. You can't do that with three cabbages. Lily pad is also, I guess, top plant, and but plant pots better because you can beat some levels without it, but you can't. Kind of. It, it really depends on what happens, really, to be honest. Magnet. Magnet Boy is great. He is. He's. You can save your butt against. And even for his cheap price, he's 175. That's good because it. Basically, instant kill a football zombie. Yes, you can just squash him. That's why he's not that high. But I'm going to put him below that guy, right? Daisy. You know where he's going. Just sit, just let your parents see it, just seriously. Wintermelon's epic, it's watermelon, it's obvious. This guy is the best, most, it's the plant that does the most damage, I believe, minus the cob cannon, I guess, but. So, I'm gonna have to put it next to Cattail on here. Pea Shooter, Pea Shooter's great, because the thing about the Pea Shooter is you wouldn't have, you, you really wouldn't have one base level. This the game's impossible to beat up PC. It's gonna it's gonna go above repeater and you but it gets outclassed by the Colonel Pot in my opinion. So I'm gonna just say it's better than him. Um plantain. I'm not a big plantain guy. It I, it really depends. Get rid of the fog, it doesn't really matter, like you can still beat pretty much every level without like, getting rid of the fog, but um I'm just gonna plantain where should I put this guy? I'm just gonna put him in good. Potato mine. Now I'm currently doing a no sunflower account and potato mine is safe above that account. It's such a good early use plant to build defences and sunflowers and stuff. So I'm gonna have to put it in great because it's so good early game. And a squash is better, but until you get the squash, this is your number one kind of source. Right. Puff room is going in epic tier because you can beat literally all of World 2 and World 4 without this guy. He is the most underrated plant. People say, oh, the freebie mushroom is awful, but it's really good, actually. And he's better than Cobb Cannon. But he's not better. No, he's not better than Cobb Cannon. I feel like I'm being a bit too harsh on the Cobb Cannon. Pumpkin is also epic, because you basically... It's basically better than the tall nut, and anyone who disagrees is wrong. <laughs> Sorry if I offended anyone, but come on, the pump crew. The pumpkin is just epic, boys, isn't it? There we go, third place on the list. They, they, they're just top plant because you can't can't rank them. Um, Repeater. Repeater. He's great. You know, I'm going to put him right there above his Gatling. I personally prefer the Repeater to the Gatling, although the Gatling does years more damage. The, the Repeater's got a better recharge and is more realistic for using non-survival. And Yeah. Scary Shroom is bad. I hate to say it, but... He hides when zombies come close, you scaredy cat. Get down to bad tier. I would put you in awful tier, but that would be unfair. Just bad. Scaredy Shroom's okay. Look, this guy's okay. He basically, I'd never use him. and he's, I'm going to have to use him on the sun, no sunflower cat. I'm currently on world three on that one, so. But I just don't like him. He just, he takes so long to recharge, and he's basically the posh room, if the posh room was bad. Snoopy is actually really good. It's annoying and I zombie, and I really enjoy the Snoopy. I'm gonna put it, gonna put it, put it great. I, I honestly prefer. It. How did the pea shooter get this high? Oh yeah, I put the pea shooter here. Snoopy is not better than pea shooter. Pea shooter is just like the face of the franchise. Spike rock and spike weed. They're basically equal. This one's better. I'm gonna put them both in like top of good. Because they're not really saying I use, but you kind of need to get Zomboni. I prefer chilling against Zomboni, but it's really up to preference, to be honest. Split P. Cattail's a way better counter to dig it. This guy literally has one purpose, like, two purposes. He, you can be, use him to beat diggers, and he, he's using some base breaker levels, but apart from that, he's really not, he's really not that good. So I'm just going to put him in good, I guess. We're... We're almost to the end of this. Wow. Um, squash. 
squash is top plant, okay? What scared is you get back down here, you Squash is top plant because it is such a good plant. It's only 50 sun. The recharge is pretty good and you just need it. It the game's beating the game without the squash is really hard. It just football zombie comes in, squash it, you know. Ladder zombie, squash him. Gargantua half health him immediately. And it's only 50 sun. It's so good. And it's and it's better than like Tangle Kelp in my opinion. It's just such a good planet that everyone needs. If you don't have the squash, what's wrong with you? Star fruit, star fruit's epic. Fight me, but when you use the star fruit in the wrong right situations with garlic, for example, my favourite one is on the reef levels. You put two rows of sunflowers, line of cut that guy, Colonel Pole, um, then you do two rows in the middle of pumpkins with star fruit and they just destroy everyone they are such an underrated plant that need more respect for what they do anyway sun shroom sun shroom is basically good like you I'm gonna, i don't know where to put these I'm, I'm gonna put both of these guys in top plant because you can't beat the game without you are supposed to beat the game without with them but it is possible to beat them without them, but they're basically necessities in the game. Torn up is great, but not, like, amazing. But there, because the problem with Torn up is just Pumpkin's better than him. He's just, he's really good, but you get a Zombonia Gargantry who's dead, you know what I mean? So, just, the Torn up's good until you get the Pumpkin, and then the Torn up's just irrelevant. So, Tangle Kelp. The first two, couple times I played the game, I really used to use this guy a lot. He's really good for dolphin riders, but I've realised using a tall nut is better, to be honest, than getting a good range plant, like a melon or um the snow pea. So I'm going to have to put the tangle cow in the good tier, but it's not great. Right, free Peter, it's so overrated. It just, it just, it's so expensive what it does, like, I'd rather just get three pea shooters in each lane. It's good on pool levels, so I'm gonna have to put it in good again. It's at the top of good, but it's just not good. Torchwood. I forgot this guy's in the game. Awful. His parents should see it. Um, no. Um, he's great because when you use him with kind of stuff, he's really good. I'm gonna put him there. Right, we need to scroll down, boys. Right. Um, twin sunflower. You, you need it for a cheap, and that's the only reason I ever used it. It's nowhere near as good as sunflowers. So I'm just going to have to put it in good low values, honestly. Um, you, I hate the umbrella leaf. I don't like wasting 200 sun on your face, but I guess. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to put it bottom of good. You know, okay, I forgot the okay tier was even here. Walnut. Walnut's air. Uh, it's okay. I guess. Just. Just. Just underwhelming. To be honest. Then winter melon. Winter melon, winter melon, min winter melon is epic! Dun, 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 dun. Epic! Okay, so here's the tier list overall. In the top plant tier, we've got squash, which is the best plant in the game, plus these four, which you kind of need. Epic, we've got the cattail, an insanely good shooting plant. The melons, which are just, they speak for themselves. Starfleet, my own underrated plant. Pumpkin, way better than the tall nut, just an incredible plant. Doom Shroom, chili, the best explosives. Cobb Cannon, insane plant. And then Pashu, it's just, it needs nerfing, to be honest. Great tier, got the Colonel Park Pea Shooter and Snow Pea, really good shoot. This plant, really good, but not my favourite. Then, you kind of get Potato Line, really great early use. Magnet, really underrated. Torchwood, really good, but not really one I tend to use. Um, Tornut, really good, but has a lot of counters. Garlic, very situational, but when used right, can be great, this guy. Then good, we, it just goes down. Teal, the bad tier, scared of shroom. Stop hiding for those football people. Seriously, dude. Hypno Shroom, just weak. 
jump and just get in the bin. And then these two, the, the parents, your parents should see how bad these plants are. Right, so I guess that's the end of this whole thing. Just to give you a little bit of thing, if you want to hear more from my amazing voice, which I, of course you want to listen to me for hours, I'm that legendary. Um, I do do a podcast, Disney Ranked. I do it with a friend of mine, and we just we review all sorts of Disney films. If you've watched the channel, I'm a big Disney fan, and we put them on the big ranked board, which is the ranked board of Disney. Our schedule's all over the place, but we try to go for weekly episodes, but that's not really been possible the last few weeks, but hopefully we'll be back in. When it comes to YouTube content, I, I'm just winging it. I've got a few ideas up here, my brain, but I'll be doing some stuff. Also, subscribe to I Have No Friends 420, get him to 50 subs by 2025. Also, if this video gets 5 views, I'll do this for Plants vs Zombies 2, the sequel game, which is another epic game and yeah if you disagree with this don't dislike we all we need to all have our own opinions in 2020 please respect if you think the gold magnet is is number one it i i respect that and i i don't know why you would say that but i get it and yeah make sure to like and subscribe this is absolutely ridiculous so i'm just asking to subscribe at this point i'm Gonna try and do a variety of content, so I'll, I'll see what sticks. To be honest, and I've got 49 subs, so if some random person sees this, please sub. And thanks for watching this video. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. Hello.